Well, good afternoon. I'm running for Congress because Bernie wanted a movement. The things that we have to solve, the issues that we have to deal with cannot be solved by one man, no matter how great he is. Not me, us, that's right. So I've been on the Milwaukee City Council for seven years. I've been the mayor for five years. Last year, or after Bernie ran the last time, I decided that I was gonna run for Congress to back him up when he won president in 2020. One of the first things I did as a mayor was to pass a $15 minimum wage in Milwaukee. My opponent voted against the federal $15 minimum wage. The next thing I did was to declare a housing state of emergency and pass a no-cause eviction slowdown and then pass a construction excise tax to build affordable housing. And then I worked on the Metro bond measure to raise $653 million to build affordable housing. That's historic. No place else in the United States has ever done that. We will house 12,000 people with that money. But here's the bad news, that's literally one-fifth of the need in the metro region. One-fifth of the need. The federal government is going the wrong direction. The proposed HUD budget for 2020 is $8.2 billion less than this year's already reduced budget. We need Congress people who instead of prioritizing more money for more endless wars, prioritize things like housing, education, and healthcare as a human right. The most recent thing I did as a mayor was to declare a climate state of emergency. First city in the state of Oregon. As we did that, we made our already aggressive climate action plan five years more aggressive. We will be a net zero city by 2030. Again, the federal government is completely failing us on this and Kurt Schrader is part of the problem. He voted, he voted to approve the Keystone XL pipeline. He voted to allow American oil to be exported. He is opposed to the Green New Deal. I am a strong proponent for the Green New Deal. We have 10 years, 10 years to solve the climate crisis. That is going to take mobilizing in this country right. like we mobilized for World War II. Yeah. That is only going to happen under a President Sanders and a brand new Congress. Yeah. Whose revolution? Our revolution! Whose revolution? 